Oh. Hey man, how you doing? Do I want to play Modern Warfare? Uh, of course. Give me two seconds, powering on, booting up as we speak. And stay out! Dan here, and I kid you not, look, before you say anything, no, I'm not trying to whine. I understand modern multiplayer games need updates to make perfect sense. But these are insane! There's no other game I own that takes up as much space as Modern Warfare, maybe except for the Master Chief Collection. I mean, we're talking nearly a quarter of all usable space on my one terabyte internal hard drive. Master Chief Collection has an excuse, mind you, because that's five games in one. What's Modern Warfare's excuse? New maps? I mean, it's nice that they're free, they're trying something new, but there haven't been that many of them. Bug fixes? No, it's probably all these weapon packs and Warzone. I mean, the game has basically become Warzone. Look at the logo! You can't even see Modern Warfare anymore. Now it's Call of Duty Warzone Modern Warfare. <sighs> I miss... Resident Evil Revelations for my 3DS. Here's a game where the only update needed was to the physical case insert. That's right, Capcom misspelled the subtitle of their own game, so if you wrote them, they would actually send you a new copy of the insert for free. That is pretty cool. But instead, every other time I boot up Call of Duty Warzone, I feel like there's gonna be a new update that's at least 12 gigabytes large. Before I upgraded from my old Xbox One to the Xbox One X, I had to plug in additional external hard drives to install all my games. But I figured by doubling the internal drive space, I wouldn't have to do that anymore. I'd really rather not have a bunch of external drives hanging off the back of the console. Who am I kidding though? Because you can't even install all your games. That's not possible anymore. The files are too large, they won't all fit together. In this next generation of gaming, you have to decide how you feel ahead of time and plan accordingly. I'm thinking on Saturday night, I'm gonna wanna play Resident Evil 7 single player again, maybe a little Halo 5 multiplayer on Sunday, and I'm sorry, but that means Jurassic World Evolutions, your files gotta go, gotta go. I, I know there's reasons why. I mean, everything is 4K HDR nowadays, that probably has something to do with it. Maybe there's a game designer in the audience who can comment below and enlighten me a little bit more as to why the up to 50 gigabyte Blu-ray discs games ship on never seem to be enough anymore. Really, it just, it just makes me miss the old days of being able to pick a game off the shelf and play it. Like, like I, I, I'll show you right now. Bioshock 2. Here's a good example of something that just worked when you put it in. And when multiplayer DLC did come out for it, I remember that it sparked outrage for the file size being too small. Players found out that all the Sinclair Solutions DLC pack was, was an unlock key totaling maybe 100 kilobytes in size that unlocked content already present on the physical disk. Well, we asked for larger file sizes and boy did we get them. Guess I picked the right game for social distancing. There's no one else online. <laughs> Jokes aside, leave a comment if it surprises you to hear I have never played an Animal Crossing game in my life. I really don't know why, it just never happened, but apparently I'm in the vast minority. So I ordered a copy of New Horizons. I'm excited to try it for the first time. Consider subscribing if you'd like to see my reactions there. I'm gonna spoil it a little bit for you though. I like it because I can put the cartridge in and play.